great to see you again. Uh, it's been a while. I've had to take a break from doing ceramics and pottery and pretty much anything else. Uh, I got one of those mosquito-borne viruses, if you know which one I'm talking about. And uh, it's, I'm on my, it's, it's been a few weeks. I've been able to do spurts of things and then all of a sudden it crashes and all comes back. It's not a happy thing. But I'm feeling better and that's why I'm doing this today. I have to get started on my project, which I have to share with you. I do have the teapot project I'm doing. It's now been set back. I'll probably get that one, um, that finished by January, all the teapots that I wanted to have for that. But I set it aside because I had a more important project that I wanted to do. In our county, Stanislaus County, uh, the Family Justice Center had a program or a call for artists to create artwork from children's art. And the Family Justice Center actually helps children that have gone through trauma or abused and really challenging situations. And they do an art therapy workshop for the children. And the, the artists, to, to raise money for, um, for the program, they had a call for artists to come and select a piece of artwork that the children created, and I selected two. And what I'm supposed to do with that is I'm supposed to create an art piece from it using an inspiration. There's their piece is the inspiration piece, and they're gonna they're going to um, sell them to raise money. We donate them, and we're they're gonna sell them to raise money for uh, for the program. And I'm really excited to do it because. I, I love children. I have four of my own, and children are just really an important part of my life, and when I volunteer for things, it's usually a child-oriented thing. So um, anyway, let me share with you which ones I picked. I picked two of them, and I already have some inspirations for them. Uh, this one is little Kate, and I want to make sure you can see this. So let me hold it up real quick and see if I'm in screen. Okay, I think I can hold it right here. Uh, this is Kate, and she's age nine. And this is, was the Butterfly Project, and it tells what the Butterfly pro Project was. It says, this workshop is designed to give the children an opportunity to notice how sometimes the difficult things in life can be second chances. Also, change can be beautiful. And what little Kate said about her piece of art is she told someone, I will give this to you to hang up. You will remember me. And this was, it's deeper than just them saying that. To me, it is anyway. And I'm going to create a piece with this inspiration in mind and uh, also but what's more important to me is what they've said about their piece of art what it means to them to do this and this one let me make sure I'm in screen here yeah this is little Liam and he's age seven you can see I have little scribbles of ideas along the side of what I like to try um, he's age seven and this is called Monster and Me is the type of project. This workshop gives children opportunity to be playful in exploring some of the more difficult emotions they experience. This workshop offers a process that will give participants the opportunity to be bold and powerful while also being rewarding and satisfying. And little Liam had to say about his artwork, and this is his little monster, and it says, he is really nice, but no one knows. And if you think more deeply about that, that's probably a little boy that has been abused, that um, has had has challenges. Everybody thinks he's a bad boy, but in truth, he's really good on the inside. And I have some ideas that I want to do for that. And what I'm going to do is share that process with you. So I'm going to have videos that'll show this creative project for the Stanislaus um, Family Justice Center, and then I'll also have my regular pottery videos, but this one is really important to me right now, and I have to have everything said and done by October 12th so that I can turn it in. Um, anyway, I hope you guys enjoy, and here's the start of that project. Program. Um, I thought to myself, you know, I could do a sculpture art piece, but at the same time, the child, I wanted the child to see it and think, wow, my, my artwork looks like that to this person, and I had some ideas that I scribbled along the side. This one right here for, uh, for Kate is a butterfly. I'm going to use the um, the colors that she has, as best I can, use the colors that she has as her butterfly. And I'm going to try and make her butterfly 3D. I want to make it, uh, I'm probably, this is going to be a hand-built piece. I'm going to obviously use some slabs, but I'm, I'm going to do a lot of hand-building for this one. And I was thinking that I could make it a mural or I could make it huge, you know. I could make a butterfly, but not just a little butterfly, but make a, a really large butterfly. Um, this one, I'm, I'm taking it as I see it. I'm just thinking, I, I think it's cute. I think it's pretty. I like all her little colors she's got there. But if I did it...
I'm not too worried about the inside because that's going to be covered by the butterfly body. So hopefully, hopefully my idea works. Now I have to, I'm just going to use this paper and I'll come up with a body. I'm going a tad bit from what this picture said. Looks like the body doesn't go all the way down to the little thing down there. Except I just may do it. Okay, just kind of an open shape. Okay. I'm going to have to have closer together, but I'm going to have the body kind of lay on top of some of my texturing tools right here. This is my whole box of textures. I'm going to texturize it. Uh, this stamp is actually a pattern she has on her uh, picture, so I'm going to use that on the butterfly wings. But I need to test a lot. This is going to take some time, so I may show you inner bits as I test to see what textures really look like before I actually put them on the, on the piece. Slipped and scored the back of this. Ah, didn't show you what I did. I, I made these little uh, attachment things, and if you look at it, it if it, if they were here, they would hang. It would hang up straight, but I kind of wanted to hang at an angle, so I I took this. I took this and, and lined it up. So if it were hanging straight, it would actually be on an angle. I'm gonna get some movement in the piece so it'll um, kind of start flopping over. I don't want it to be completely flat.
my light is real finicky in my, my shop, so forgive the darkness. It's not really even dark outside, but my light went off. Here's the finished piece. And I tried to incorporate all the elements she had in her her picture up there. I'm going to post a picture of it actually uh, right after the, the actual picture of her piece. But anyway, that is, there we go. It's about 15 by 15 across, the widest points across and up and down. So uh, anyway, hope it turns out great and I got to cover it up real quick before it starts cracking. So. Well, I could only get the butterfly project in today and Kate, age nine, um, I'm really excited. I hope you like your inspiration piece. It's still in progress and hoping everything dries properly and nothing cracks or breaks or I'm going to probably have to go back to the drawing board. So uh, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed today and we will see you next time for Monster in Me and that will be Liam, age seven. I had to check age seven so uh, yeah it gives me more time to come up with an idea for his I had waste so many ideas I need to narrow it down anyway but have a great day we'll see you guys next time